trying a restaurant called Southern Fire in Detroit, Michigan. I am finally in the city of Detroit. So I'm gonna make myself very clear. All the surrounding cities around Detroit, Michigan has held their end of the bargain. Food outside of Detroit is awesome. Detroit, Michigan, do not f this up. Let's see what this is hitting on. We got a chicken wing. All right. Ooh. Okay, that chicken is on point. So it just opened about 30 minutes ago, so I expect this to be good. And it is. Chicken is hot, fried, wet, crispy. The batter has definitely been seasoned. Ooh, this motherfucker is hot. I don't have no problem with the chicken. The chicken is pretty good. You got the fried fish. Sorry, y'all. I gotta start smelling fish before I eat it. Okay. So fish like this is, is what I like. I love fish like this. The white meat on this thing is just so damn good. I mean, the breading is good. The color of the fish is just, it's just beautiful. However, this is a bit salty. And I know you guys are tired of me saying that, but guess what? It is what it is. They use way too much salt with this fish right here. Way too much. But the fish itself, for the most part, oh yeah, this is good. There's not any hot sauce in this one anyway? Nope. It's all good though. Collard greens. Oh, wow. These, these really suck. These are cooked down really good. It has a slight crunch to them. They didn't put no flavor at all. These were just thrown in a pot of water and cooked. They weren't seasoned at all. Oh yeah, you wrong for that. Jeez. Mac and cheese. Uh-oh. Come Detroit with their toboggans and they phone clips fucking up shit. This right here ain't nothing but cheese and pasta. They didn't bother to season this at all either. To be quite honest with you, I don't even think this is real cheese. Why I say that is because the cheese is not melted. Usually when cheese has a hard time melting, it's not real cheese. But I can honestly show you this isn't. Yeah, I don't think that's real cheese. I sound to be corrected. Next, we're gonna try this meatloaf plate. Nah, I'm not really feeling the meatloaf like that either. So the meat itself, texture-wise, it's like that. When you bite into it, you can definitely taste that, that beefy flavor, you know what I mean? But they didn't season the beef at all. They just grounded it up with some what looks like onions and peppers and just cooked it. Gravy? So when you taste the gravy upon contact, it's gonna, it's gonna taste real peppery. But the finish is a very malty, mid, nasty finish. It doesn't really taste like gravy, if I'm being honest. Green beans. They're just green beans, nothing more, nothing less. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm. So the gravy is mid, we really ain't got to discuss that. I personally, the mashed potatoes are actually pretty good. I wish I would've got that without the gravy because the gravy is just coming through and everything up. But the mashed potatoes itself, aside from the gravy, the mashed potatoes are okay. Cornbread. It's cornbread or a pound cake. So texture-wise, it's on point. Flavor-wise, not really. It's a little sweet, but it is. It's definitely dry. I do have another piece of cornbread I want to try too, just because. See, this isn't too far off. If this was more moist and a little bit more sweet, cornbread would be on point. Detroit, Michigan. Don't start this. Do not start this. But if you're anywhere in the Detroit area, check this place out.